What's up? I guess we're doing Tex Mix food reviews. Yep. We're oh, back. Yeah. Well, you just ruined that. You ruined your life, man. <laughs> you're in code, you're reviewing some good old Chex Mix. And he's going to open it like that. Alright. I'm going to start out with this thing. <laughs> the life Cereal things, I guess they are. Give you rating the met out of ten. Four out of five, whatever. The reason why I started with this one is because they're always my least favorite. They're always so <laughs> boring. However, this time, they do have a bit more seasoning than usual. That's a good thing. With that being said, they are still very boring. And not delicious. <laughs> So, what do you give it out of 10? I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. It's a half. barely eatable by itself. But it's not the worst. But it could be better. Yeah, and it could be so much of, better. It's the worst out of this amazing package. Now, my review. Okay, so now I'm doing the taste test. The seasoning is very good. So I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. My reason is, it's not the most tasteful thing, but it isn't terrible and it is edible and it um, does, it is nice to eat. So maybe compared to other stuff, it's not that good. Ooh, just But the flavor is good. We are actually food experts. We have been eating food our entire lives. Really? So obviously we know what's good or not. Obviously. We're the best. Yeah. Obviously. So now we are going to do the second best. We are going to moving on to the breadstick things. The yeah, like those actually. Me too. Breadstick thing. Go. Can't find it. They're still a bit boring by themselves. They have less seasoning than the Life Cereal Squares, but I would still eat them by themselves. I do like it more. I'd give it 6.5. Aw, oh, yeah! Now, my review. Look how it's crunchy and the taste lasts for a little longer. And in my opinion, I would actually like the other ones, other only with the seasoning though. But <clears throat> when it comes to other subjects, um, stuff like tasting, like longer tasting, and it is more rare, so you're not used to eating it. So I would also give it a six point five out of ten. Now on to the third plate, third worst. Pretzels. I'm also going to count these for the circle and see if it's pretty much the same thing besides the given shapes. It is. It is. But pretzels nonetheless. Like that. And oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're lacking in salt. That's never a good thing. <laughs> salt is always necessary. It's a necessary component to pretzels. With that being said, they are still quite delicious. The bread is very butter. nice and soothing. Soothing, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't try to make it sound professional like a game soothing. show. Very soothing. Very soothing pretzels. On a hot relax, on a hot boiling day, sit down by the pool and relax with pretzels. So, what would you rate? Seems legit. Um, but. Hold on, I'm not done yet, okay, bro. Don't sorry. rush me. No, that's all right. I give it, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the texture is quite nice. It's got a really good crumble. You know, it's not stiff, but it's not, you know, overly soft. Doesn't feel stale. I give it seven. Only because it's lacking a lot of salt. If it has salt. salt. If it has salt, what would you give it? Eight. 
Now, I, I feel like that is our second last sword. Now, we're going to get on to the canes. Hold up, hold up. What about your pretzel review? Oh, yes, my mistake. Now, I'm going to review the circle pretzel. First, the taste. I do like the bread. The bread is very good, and but it does lack salt, but um, it is still very good, and and it's not bad. It's definitely better than the other two, and it looks really bland, but it really isn't that bland. It has some special taste to it, and it's a nice snack for you to eat. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Aw, oh, yeah. Now, the two the kings of the Chex Mix. <laughs> I crowned them. Did you see that? They're crowned with some salt. But they are the little brown wafer, whatever. These are the size. rarest kind, too, because that's what this pack is a lot more of than this one. That is quite a good thing. They are very easy to eat. They got a real solid crunch. Crunchier than the pretzels, ironically. They're saltier than the pretzels, ironically. They got a good texture. I do like it so much more than the pretzels. Like, I, I would just eat a bag of these. Forget everything else, you know? These are the best, man. These are the best. I give these a 9.5. Phenomenal snack food. This is how we roll, man. Now, Biscuits, so this is going to get our honor roll of the best foods we have reviewed. It's a new thing to our thing. I just want to make it my head. Now my review. It's not over yet. So what do you think about this brown, crunchy, delicious treat? Let's find out. This this is this food. It's the reason why crunchy food is good these days. Very nice, um, thick. Uh, nice, n good crust. Let me just do another one for example. Very crunchy and salty. And it just tastes so good. It tastes like a snack. Like a snack which should. And this is the king of Chex Mix. It should basically just have the cover. Like it should, for the, if it, um, instead of a seed, they should have this instead. Like, my husband's <laughs> camera at it. Replace the seed. Yeah, okay. Basically the okay, can't see it, but... Basically, just replace it with this. And there we go, then tons of more people will buy it. So that's my opinion on the Chex Mix. Now, what's your rating, bro? Oh, I rate it a 9 out of 10. Oh, snaps. Now, now overall. Now, yeah, now we can say, now the bag itself. When we mix it all together, I think it suffers from everything else. If it was just these, you could rest at a very easy nine and to nine and a half. But the pretzels are pretty good. They are pretty good. And the good. breadsticks they are do. decent. But the yeah. the most common ones kind of ruined the big. But they're still tolerable. So what would you rate it out of ten? The entire bag could go at eight point five without the life cereal squares because nobody likes those they're terrible <laughs> and they're so common they're just too much too much go away <laughs> too much of crap so yeah now mine but, oh, oh you're not done yet bruh. <laughs> but we have to rate it with them in there because that's how they are they're in there with these in there it knocks it down a full point. Knocks it down to seven. Ooh. Yeah. Fix this. These are seven disgusting. <laughs> That's exactly what I think of it. Okay. Okay. Now, my review of the bag. Oh, sorry. I just had nothing else to shake my head at or just it just didn't so, work anymore. It got awkward. The bag is good. It's got a good combination of nice um nice crust 
I think I feel like the neutral ones, they do not affect the score enough because these is what ruins it. That's what brings that such a low score. And this is really that like a high score, and the other ones are still very enjoyable. They're a nice add-on, and they're not a burden to eat, and they're still decent. So I would have a, so my first, for something to go off, in combinations, I would have a bag with just, I would have it with these two. And Pablo Pretzels, too. That's a good combo. Yeah. Well, then you have, well, then it's sex mix, so it's a mix, so yeah. <laughs> Gotta include the whole thing in the final. But no. So, without the squares, I would rate it an 8 out of 10. That's still very good. But without the squares, it's just a lot more nice since you can't really, you know, you don't need to experience other ones that taste way better as much because they're pretty rare. rare. Well, without the squares, which since it's in the bay, I would have to give it a 7 out of 10. Oh, we came to the same conclusion. Yep, besides you got 8.5 for the first one. That's true. But but see, it. we are scientific, man. So scientific. Yes. We know exactly what we're doing. We're the foremost experts because we've been living this life, eating food. Nobody else else has been eating food that long. Besides for Brian, but mm. except for maybe the world. <laughs> yeah, except for everyone else in the world. Why aren't there more food reviews, man? Everybody's an expert. Come on. We're the best ones of all. We review them, give you your views, and the best taste, and the best taste test, and the best scores. Oh, and yeah. We never lie. Because we are poor people who just, you, we do not brand food. So if you ask us to brand one of your foods, we're probably still going gonna to give it a bad score. If it's bad, if it's good, it's good. We're always honest. Yeah. So, like, subscribe. Look in the annotations that are not there. And <laughs> bye. Hold on. Don't yell at us for liking and disliking parts of this, man. You know? Yeah, I'm looking at you. If, if you disagree, opinion. have different opinions or whatever, start a chat, you know? Just be in the comments like, yeah, yeah, I agree with this, but I don't agree with this. This is why I think it's good. This is why I think it's bad. And we'd be like, oh, yeah, man, that's cool. Don't get rude. Okay, besides, besides be like these are the best, then there's a problem, but still. Yeah. We still yeah. respect you, but nah. Except we don't respect you. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. We respect you. Bye.